This video demonstration will show you the various ports, cables, connectors, and input devices that we talked about in the chapter lecture. Within that, there were a number of different types of adapters and converters and cable orientation and cable types. When we talked in our lecture, we talked a lot about internal cables. We talked about the ribbon cables and coaxial cables and twisted pair and fiber. And I'm going to run you through a lot of the types of basic ports and then what can be connected to those as far as connections and then what, what we have as far as devices that can be connected. So as you work as a CompTIA a certified professional, you're gonna work with a number of different connectors. So my advice is to read the manufacturer's or the vendor's information, kind of know what your application is. And when you're installing or, or adding things to a computer, always go for a certain level of quality. I shoot for the highest quality I can. I know sometimes it's always cost prohibited when you're working with customers, but go for the best quality you can at that point in time and always plan for future upgrades. So you never know when the technology is gonna to need to be upgraded. There's so many different uh, devices to know that I usually keep a chart handy that I can show either to my clients or my customers or that I can show to uh, fellow colleagues when we're trying to discuss a particular type of application. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you the basic ports on here on this uh, particular laptop. We've got a modem connector here. This is a network connector. We've got a video connector. These three are USB ports. We've got a microphone connector, a headset connector, and then this is an express card slot. So I'll show you kind of what connects into each one, each different one of these. This is a basic RJ11. I'm gonna scoot this over just a little bit so you can see a little better. RJ11 cable, it's your common, uh, like your phone line, it connects in there. Just simply push down this tab, you can insert here. Got another one just similar to it. You'll see these uh, quite commonly. Then we've got an ethernet cable. This is what you connect uh, your internet or your modem, uh, set that up. This is a RJ45 connection, and this is a, just happens to be a piece of CAT3 wire. Connect that into there. I've got a video connection here. And for our video connections, you usually have VGA or a DB15, and sometimes this is even called a HD15. It's all the same thing. A lot of times these are seen in a, in a blue color. And then I've got three USB ports. So I wanted to show you something first about USB that's uh, kind of a neat demonstration or some of the differences you should know on them. So currently we're at USB 3.0. So I want to show you the difference. This is USB 1, which if you look at this connector, here's how you know this is USB 1. This is white. This area here is a USB 2, next generation. This is colored black. And this here is a USB 3, and it's blue. So that's how you know the three different connections, or the three different types, rather, of USB. You've got the white, the black, and the blue, the connector. So we'll do a little bit of connecting here. I'm going to set one of these aside, just as far as the drive. Uh, here's a mouse, so we'll go ahead and connect that in there. Make sure you got your tab turned. Set that right in there. This is a common uh, wire. I'll t go over USBs a little bit more here. I just connect this uh, into this connector. Basically showing you what will fit into this. So then, we've got two different types of headsets. And we talk about this uh, when we're talking about safety and ergonomics in our lecture there. So this one is actually a USB connection. And you can see the headset here, good for ergonomics. Common one that you'll see, uh, just a lot of different brands out there. And I can connect this USB headset right there. This is a, an additional headset here, different, different type of brand. The main thing is, is the connection. So I've got a different type of connector and I'm going to put it in there. Basically, we've got all of these ports that are filled with uh, different items. So you can see there are a number of attachments or things we could even attach in this express card slot to add to a ton of different capabilities. I mean, you could have uh, additional adapters on both sides of the computer and to the front and the back and do several different connections. So let me set these aside and I want to show you individually through some of these different types of uh, cables and connectors. Bear with me for a minute. Okay, I'll set this over. OK, 
Okay, let me start out with some of our video cables. Got a lot of common different types of video cables. This VGA or the DB15 connector that I showed you. These are common in a lot of older computers. You don't see these uh, quite as much. They're still there. I see those uh, on the back of definitely some of that I have at work right now. It just depends on when technology upgrades, but significantly we're going to a lot of different uh, USB types. And really these are designed to carry your uh, digital video signals. Got a little bit older style here. And these are RCA connectors. So you've probably seen these on the back of a television or even some uh, gaming activities. And there's uh, three different colors that are on here. And the red and the white, these are used for your right and left side speakers. And the yellow is used for video. Show you a common application, because you'll see a number of different things uh, as a CompTIA A Plus professional that you're gonna connect and make different connectors for folks. So like I mentioned here, this is our yellow connector. Our video goes in there. Here's your left connector and your right connector. Pretty simple. Got those put in there. These are different connectors for different components and you'll see an S-Video connection here. And S-Video is another type of, uh, of uh, video connection. So this is a little bit uh, more modern than I would say the RCA connections, but now we even upgrade to even uh, fancier ones such as the HDMI. Okay, this is your common HDMI cable, and this stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. It's a 19-pin connection. These are the caps that connect it, so whenever you're putting this back in the tool uh, kit, I like to keep these uh, neat and organized. So anytime you have these connection caps on here, you keep uh, spiders, dust, and debris, and all those things out of there. Always replace these if you've got them, and instead of throwing them away, I always save them and uh, put them in a handy container, uh, it's just so I have them for later if I've already installed this at a customer's uh, place of work. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is twisted pair. And when we look in here, there are a number of different types of twisted pair. Twisted pair are common for telecommunications as far as uh, I-568, uh, A and B, and these are used as an eight conductor twisted pair. And this right here has eight different wires in here. And these are usually orange, green, blue, black. And there's a striped wire that corresponds with all the colors in there. Twisted pair, the advantage to these is, is that each wire is really twisted. So you don't have emanation or it minimizes the emanation from each different wire. As it's twisted, uh, that gives you a little bit more uh, solid, solid uh, or a lesser risk of emanation coming out of there. Back when I was in the Air Force, we even had Faraday cages. And really, uh, if you look at technology and information security, What's emanated out of these wires can actually be uh, absorbed or reread uh, if, if the technology is there uh, by spies and other people like that. So when you look at information technology, uh, there's a lot of ways to prevent uh, cabling, especially in top secret areas and things like that. So uh, there's uh, additional cabling we can put around uh, all, all this. So it's really, uh, you've got a couple different types. You've got some that can be used for exterior use, some that are used for interior use. And, when I talk about the type of cable that goes on this, it's really important. We've got a lot of PVC cables that are used now, and the reasoning behind that is, is when we use those, um, it really prevents a lot of different fires. So when you're working with uh, your customers and your clients in a plenum type area where you're up in the ceiling, um, the, having the PVC coating, as we've improved in technology, those are things that, based on the polyvinyl chloride coating, it has a lot less uh, opportunity to release smoke into the air and cause more of an inhalation hazard and less of a fire risk. So technology improves there quite a bit. We had category one through uh, seven. So category one really begins with our speakers and then category uh, five, six, and seven are, are more of the common ones. So uh, <coughs> category five is more so what's used uh, today. It's called the enhanced. It goes about 100 meters. And then we've got category six, which is common. And then seven is really a shielded. So uh, when I was talking earlier about the emanation and things getting out of here, they can have special shields uh, on there, which prevent the emanation. I wanted to talk a little bit more about our USBs. And when you think about it, there's a lot of different connectors that you're using. Most common ones are some of your USB adapters. Uh, we've got your keyboard and mouse connections. We've got a lot of different type of storage and disk connections like this. You've got your network connections, uh, like your ethernet cable. We've got audio and video that do connections. Look similar to this. 
and then you've got your power connections. So I'm going to go through a few of those with you. Um, let me start here with our USBs and talk about the mini USB. All right. And I need one more cable. Okay, here's our other cable. Sorry about that, seemed to be on the floor. So when I look at the uh, different types of USB connections that we've got, this is called a standard A plug, and this is a standard B plug. And these are really common, you'll see these uh, a lot of times on printers. So this end would obviously connect to the uh, device that you're using, laptop or desktop, and this end will actually go in the printer. So this is the standard A, and this is standard B. And I'll give you this one here. This is called a mini B and a micro B. Okay, so I've got four different types here. There's a micro B, a mini B, a standard B, and a standard A plug. All different types of USBs. And you'll see these in different color, like I mentioned, red, white, and blue. So you can really tell what the different versions are with these. These happen to be USB 2s. Okay, uh, in a little bit, when we get to another unit, I'm going to show you a little bit about some of the uh, ribbon cables and, and what we use to connect some of our disk drives and storage drives. So we'll look at some of the internal ribbon cable, and we'll talk about small, some of the smaller connections here like we have on this drive. Those are the internal ones. We'll talk about fiber optics for a second. I don't have any fiber optics uh, handy with me because a lot of times you need uh, specialized uh, training to have the ability to install um, fiber optics as far as the line that comes in. You'll probably be primarily primarily connecting to the USB device. So I'll show you here. These are these are the connectors where you can actually see where it's similar to an Ethernet cable, just plugs in place. And then this is the connection that actually goes to the wire that goes into the house. So we've basically got uh, there's a few different types. Really, there's eight eight or so. But the most common ones uh, that I've seen are the ST and the FC and the SC. So the ST is really a connector that has a bayonet type, and the FC is really a slotted screw type, and then the SC is a push type. So you'll see a few different connectors here in fiber optics, just depending on what you do. And I, I recommend if you're gonna stay working in the IT field, once you've got your CompTIA down, I would look at uh, some networking security uh, enhancements and also look at some fiber optic installations. Okay, this is a standard TRS plug, and this stands for tip, ring, and sleeve. So you've got a tip, ring, and sleeve that's put here in, in this particular file. Showed you a connector a little bit earlier, so this is common for a headset. I see quite a different uh, few types of these that we use for audio connections. You've got coaxial cable. Coaxial cable is uh, very common in the RG6 or the RG59. You can see the copper connection in here. This threads to a specific connection. Got an actual connector here. Move this over for you. And you can see we've got a connection here. Simply sets threads on. You'll see this real common with a lot of different cable cuts. On this one, you can also see the HDMI connection. This is your RG6. It's a coaxial cable. You also have RG59. The difference is the RG6 is a little bit thicker. Simply connects on like this. Thread it on. It's ready to go. We also have an HDMI connector like we mentioned earlier. Here's your standard uh, modem connection. You can see here. Work with those quite often. These are some of the Apple product connectors. And they've got the Apple Lightning, as well as a Thunderbolt that's similar to the USB. So these are your Apple Lightning. Uh, this one goes on to a simple iPad. This one will connect to a computer or your phone. These are some uh, personal identification or, or PIV card connectors or connector readers. So you put in an access card, and we'll talk about this a little bit more for one of our security uh, lessons a little bit later on. But uh, your card would come in here and it would flash if it identifies and reads actually the chip that's inside the card. You're going to see any kind of other devices. I mean, this is a earbud set. You could put this in a computer. We've got a mini camera. This is a USB, USB 1. 
any kind of devices. And you'll see a lot of different types of devices like you connect uh, cameras to, uh, just digital digital devices that the customer will use like scanners, uh, faxes, any, any number of smaller devices if they want to connect to things. There's a lot of YouTubers out there and uh, folks that work on their personal videos. They need that kind of capability. I want to show you a PS2 connector. I don't see a ton of PS2 connectors anymore. You'll see them uh, maybe on some gaming activities and things like this. This is your input and output and your printer connection. Uh, this is a uh, common the, uh, purple for a keyboard. And then I've got another one over here, colored green for the mouse. Okay, so I've got a power connection here, and you're going to notice power connections are in, in, in a lot of different configurations. You're going to notice some square or rectangular ones, uh, just the composition or the shape. These could be square or rectangular. Um, there's a lot of different types and a lot of different voltages, so you really have to make sure that you've got the applicable one and you know that it goes on your particular computer. And there's usually information about the voltage or, or some kind of a connection that identifies you know, the brand uh, that it goes to. I wanted to do some discussion about organization. As you work as a CompTIA A plus certified professional, one thing you want to do is always check the requirements for your manufacturer and make sure that you're following the specific application for something. And when you put something together, always test it and make sure that it works. Make sure all the connections are good and that the product with the input and output is, is exactly what the customer desires. And then be neat. When you're working with things like cabling, keep everything uh, neat and, and organized. With zip ties, if you have to cable something and put two cables together, by all means use some, some kind of a zip tie and connect these to where they're neat and use some kind of a Velcro tie because you always want to present a professional image as, as far as your customers. You want to let them know that you're a top-notch professional and that you're organized and that you work safely. So thank you and I appreciate you joining me for this video demonstration on the ports, cables, connectors, and input devices.